everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, and I'm here today with Stefano, who is a product manager on Google Analytics. And he is gonna show us an overview of using analysis in Google Analytics for properties. Now, this is super exciting because analysis was available in Universal Analytics, but only for 360 customers. But in Google Analytics 4, it's available for everybody. So with that, Stefano, thank you so much for being here and over to you. Thank you, Krista. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, so first of all, uh, why should you care about analysis? Analysis is one of the modules within the Google Analytics for property, where on one side, uh, you have all the pre can reports within the reporting curriculum in GA4 uh, that allows you to, uh, to answer the most common question that you have about your GA data. On the other side, if you are an expert uh, SQL ninja, you will have uh, tools like BigQuery where you can export your data and run all ad hoc queries that you want on, uh, on your Google Analytics data. Right in between, you have analysis. It's a, a, a module within Google Analytics that gives you the power of a series of techniques with advanced data modeling to be able to answer all those questions within uh, the UI of Google Analytics. And here we are on the Google Analytics for uh, user interface. And uh, where you can find analysis here is on the left navigation. If you scroll down here uh, in the Explore section, you will have uh, analysis. Analysis, if you click there, will have the analysis tab and the template gallery. The first uh, analysis tab uh, will include the, the list of techniques that you have available in analysis. Each technique is a predefined data model to better analyze your data. And then down here, you will have the list of all saved analysis that you've created over time that you can reaccess at any point in time. There are the link, the template gallery will allow you to see all the pre-made templates. Of course, the existing analysis, each one of them will have uh, its own template. And then a series of uh, use cases and industries where uh, uh, we will have a specific set of prepared analysis that are specific for those use cases. As an example, if I click here on the acquisition use case, it will open up an analysis with a few different techniques that are focused on the acquisition use case. So in this case, the first analysis is an exploration analysis with a deep dive on your acquisition sources. Every analysis that you create will be automatically saved and given a name, a default name that you can always come here and change. So I can change that to new name. And once that's saved, you can go back to the analysis hub and see the analysis that you've just saved as the last in chronological order. Within the analysis hub, on the three dots here on the right, you can do delete, rename the analysis, you can create a duplicate, you can also share the analysis. By default, each analysis you create is gonna be private to yourself, no one can see or edit it, but you can share it in view-only mode with the rest of your property. Now, let's jump in into uh, the exploration technique, which is probably gonna be one of the first techniques you look at in analysis. All technique will have uh, these two panels that you see on the left. We'll have the variable panel and the tab setting panel. The variable panel is common across techniques and has all the elements that you need to add to your visualization. The name, the date range, the ability to select segment, uh, dimension, uh, and, and metric. And these are the most commonly used, but you can also always uh, click the plus sign and access all the available dimension and metric that you have in your property and just click uh, the one uh, that you're interested in and apply them uh, to make them part of the variable panel to be able to then just uh, double click or drag in and drop in uh, um, the metric or the dimension to, to make it part of the visualization. The second panel, the tab setting panel, is specific for each technique. In the exploration technique case, it allows you to select different visualization. So we're looking now at a table report. You can do donut chart, line chart, scatter plot, etc. You can apply segments to, to the data by dragging and dropping the segment name uh, in the segment, select row, select column, select the different metric, and, uh, and finally uh, be able to filter the data uh, on the filter section here, where you can use uh, whatever dimension you have applied or metric and use that to filter and only look at a subset of data. The last important part that is common across technique is that you can interact with the data. On uh, each data point, you can right click 
and do a few actions. Uh, you could uh, view user, create a segment, include and exclude the, uh, this specific uh, uh, selection from, uh, from your selection of data. In the example of segment, if you create a segment, it opens up the segment builder with the pre-created all the condition that defines that specific data point, so you don't have to do this manually. But you can manually add and make this uh, segmentation more customized if you want to add, for instance, a condition uh, to, this, uh, uh, to this condition here. Awesome. There is so much great information there about how to use analysis in Google Analytics for properties. I hope you guys can see how useful this tool might be and start to dive in. Stefano, thanks again. And everybody, go make use of analysis in Google Analytics for properties.